Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Forces are all around us. As we've learned, a force is a push or a pull. A push is a force moving something away from you. A pull is a force moving something towards you. Today, I'm going to tell you how forces can be balanced or unbalanced. But first, let's see some interesting common things about forces. Forces always have strength and direction. Let me show you. When a soccer player kicks the ball to another player, they're using a certain amount of strength to push the ball in a certain direction. Forces can be weak. Like when you see a golf player very lightly hitting the little tiny golf ball into a close by hole. Or they can be strong. Like when the same golf player hits a golf ball really hard to send it far away. Forces also have direction. A soccer player kicks the ball in a certain direction to the other player or toward the goal in order to score, right? Or when you're playing basketball, you shoot the ball in the direction of the basket. Pushes and pull forces, by definition, also have strength and direction. When you push an empty wheelbarrow forward, you can steer it to the left or the right. And once you fill up the wheelbarrow with dirt, you add more force to increase the strength of the push. If you pull on a suitcase at an airport, you can drag it to the left or the right or to wherever your terminal is. And if the suitcase is super packed and very heavy, you'll have to pull it with a greater strength and force than if it was light and empty. So far, so good. But another important point to make. When forces with equal strength and opposite direction combine, they cancel each other. Think of a game of tug-of-war. You know what I'm talking about. When both teams are pulling equally on the rope, even though they are pulling the rope in opposite directions, if they both pull with exactly the same amount of strength, they do not cause a change in motion. These forces here are called balanced forces. They have the same strength, but they act in opposite directions. Because of that, you'll hear that balanced forces can cancel each other out. Now, if there are balanced forces, guess what other forces we may have? Unbalanced, exactly. Back to our tug of war. The moment this flag goes in the direction of one of the teams, the forces applied here become unbalanced. The unbalanced forces have different strengths. Because of that, the rope starts moving. And one of the teams wins by pulling it towards themselves with greater strength than the other team. Which means that unbalanced forces can cause an object to move or change its motion. Let's explore another scenario. Say two boys are arm wrestling. Now they're pushing in opposite directions and they're both pushing the same amount. Which means they are exerting the same amount of force. We could say that they represent balanced forces. Well, what do you think happens if someone else comes to help out one of the boys and they push together? That's right. The forces are now unbalanced. And although it's clearly cheating, the boy who received help will win the arm wrestling contest. Our next task will be to compare and contrast balanced and unbalanced forces. How they're different and how they're the same. Here we go. Balanced forces are forces of equal strength and opposite directions. Because of that, the object affected is at rest or not moving. The easiest way to remember it? Think about the flag on the rope in a game of tug of war. It's not moving because equal forces are applied. Unbalanced forces can cause the object to change speed, to accelerate or decelerate. A quick reminder, if something accelerates, it moves faster. If something decelerates, it slows down. They can also cause a change in the direction of an object, or they could make the object start or stop moving. Remember, unbalanced forces are not equal forces. Let's think about the tug of war again. One of the team wins because they pulled the rope with more force than the other team. In other words, unbalanced force was applied. This is how balanced and unbalanced forces are different. 
If you're still wondering if these forces are similar, well, here's the answer. Yes. Because both of them act on objects as push or pull. To sum it up, a force is a push or a pull, and they always have a strength and a direction. Forces acting on an object may be balanced or unbalanced. When the forces have equal strength and go in opposite directions, they are balanced and cancel each other out. This means that the object will stay at rest if it is at rest before the forces act upon it. When the forces acting on an object are unbalanced, the object's motion changes. It may speed up or slow down, and it may also change its direction. Well, that's all for now. See you in the next video lesson.